This is a brief tutorial on the model train technology CTC panel. And uh, the panel has eight outputs. Uh, these are bipolar, uh, bicolor uh, LEDs. So they're uh, light emitting diodes, their current flows one way uh, to produce green and it will flow the other way to produce red. And so what we have on here is a board that has a switching circuit and either the, uh, any kind of trigger, um, either our coil detector uh, or the precision detector signal is a low to ground. And so that can be put into any one of these eight pins and that will switch the light. So what we're going to do is just plug it in right now. This is onto an 8.8 volt power source. Uh, the power module uh, 8 volt version is the one to go with. Uh, for that and you can see that I've set them up all so that they're in the default position of green. The way to test the board, it's pretty simple. Uh, there, this pin here, these two pins here allow you to daisy chain the power to an, yet another CTC panel. The one that's closest to you, this one right here, is the ground connection and so what we're going to do is uh, we unscrew this and I'm just going to slide it into the end of the pin here and give it a little twist to tighten it up just very loosely and so now if I touch this to any one of these pins you'll see that when it's on or, or triggered the LED for that pin goes red and so the same thing over here all right so pretty simple I'll just put the, the trip here uh, the blue LED tells you the power's on and it's ready to go or go or of course if the LED is lit, uh, that gives you a pretty good clue that it's, that's working. So typically you'll just have, uh, let's so for block occupancy, where you want to know if the track is occupied or not, um, you set it up uh, this way, uh, so it's green, and then when the, tri when the prison detect precision detector uh, trips the circuit, it'll turn red and that tells you that the train is in that section. To set this up for a panel where there are two lights to indicate the direction of a turnout, what we're going to do is we're going to use two outputs. And I'm going to take this one out and I'm going to reverse it and put it back in to its two uh, pins. And you can see just by reversing it, it turns red. So if you have uh, the, the way to do this is the first one, uh, I mean, you can do it any way you like, but what I like to do is the closed position or the straight position, you'd have this aligned with the mainline track and you'd have this one set up for the thrown position. That's consistent with the coil sensor, uh, which will follow your turnouts and the coil sensor would just be the same signal. And when I trip uh, this signal, of course, it's going to change and these change independently. So you might ask, well, wait a second, how do I get both of them uh, to, to flip? And the answer to that is quite simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a connection between sensor input number one and sensor input number two so that these work in tandem. And so now tripping either one of these will flip the circuit. So you can see if the turnout turns um, and the coil sensor trips it because the turnout was thrown, uh, the, the straight, the closed section would be red and now the thrown section would be green. And when it's released, goes back the other way. So pretty simple. Um, and again, I'm just using the grounding pin, which is the closest one here, and just touching uh, either one of these. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Uh, there's no microprocessor on this board. Um, you, you might call it a dumb board, uh, but it's got some circuits in here to uh, very cleverly reverse the polarity without a lot of uh, fuss. So that's how the model train technology uh, CTC panel light board works, uh, and you can, like I said, you can use it for block signals or for turnouts.